Hi everyone, we haven't done AV news for a little while. It's because Lauren's been uh, getting married and having a honeymoon. How, how did it all go? It went really well. We had a great day. My dress was fabulous. And um, we had a really nice time shopping and eating and drinking our way through Bali and Hong Kong, which wow. was great. Well, yeah. enough of that. Let's get back to work. <laughs> uh, what's happening around the traps? So we have the Child and Family Forum coming up on the 4th of August. Um, and also Triple P are hosting a positive parenting seminar coming up at the Beanley Entertainment Centre. That's on the 28th. Uh, sorry, the 23rd of August. It's going to be hosted by our Mayor Luke Smith and it'll be attended by um, Minister Shannon Fentiman and also, I understand, a bit of an NRL legend, Corey Parker. The that name means more to you. Brisbane than... <laughs> Broncos captain. I told you I don't do footy. <laughs> Corey Parker. Yes, Corey Parker will be there. So um, if you're a service provider and you think that's something that might be relevant to your clients, feel free to spread the word or if you're a parent, please jump online and um, you can find out more information about how to attend that event. Uh, now, something I'd like to tell you about is the work we're doing uh, around uh, public education and parental engagement around uh, child development. Uh, so one of the things we know is that parents would like more information about child development basics, about things like how brains grow, what they can do at each age and stage to uh, produce uh, fantastic kids. So we're uh, feeling our way into that task. We know that parents don't like getting parenting advice. Uh, and that putting ads up on bus stops doesn't necessarily work. What we are finding is that uh, very personal conversations in small peer groups with, uh, in a peer environment is working. So we're trying out a whole, whole lot of different ways of having those conversations and we're thinking our community champions or an ambassadors or a, uh, a community discussion group format um, is going to be a winner for us. Uh, so we're one of the things we're doing to test that out is uh, turning up at community venues like uh, McDonald's on a Friday night and uh, engaging with parents and kids in that informal community setting. And that's telling us an awful lot of uh, really good information about how we're going to have that conversation. So uh, we're hoping that we'll launch that sort of campaign properly in about September or October. Um, the other thing I want to tell you about is the asset mapping or the service mapping uh, project that's really um, getting ahead of steam up now. Uh, we've got, we found about 15 um, folks, different organisations doing some sort of mapping activity to try and find out all the great things that are going on in the community and put that into a big database that we can all use. Uh, what we're finding is that there's about seven directories, there's about five mobile phone apps, as I said about 15 projects going on to understand different pieces of the, um, the services pie. What we're wanting is really one consolidated, one source of truth, one consolidated uh, piece of information that can serve all our needs. So that's really coming along. If you've got um, something to offer there or you'd like to get involved, Sharina Oxley in our team is leading that piece of work. Lauren. Uh, well, there's been lots happening with projects over the last month or so, so we've updated our project schedule and you can view the latest version of that on our website under the project section and there's also a link directly from the homepage. That's it for us. Have a great week. Bye guys.